Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, as reported at Legacy.com the second week of October 2023. Legacy.com is where you can find any obituary or publish an obituary in any newspaper in America and beyond. Actor Keith Jefferson died October 5, 2023, in Los Angeles. He died of cancer at the age of 53. He was best known for his roles in the Quentin Tarantino movies Django Unchained, The Hateful Eight, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Jefferson is also being remembered for his work with Jamie Foxx in Day Shift and The Jamie Foxx Show. Musician Buck Trent died October 9, 2023, of natural causes at the age of 85. He was a cast member on Hee Haw, known for his talkin' blues sketch and his signature phrase, Oh yeah! Trent is also being remembered for playing banjo and guitar on such Dolly Parton songs as Jolene and I Will Always Love You, as well as touring and recording with musicians like Roy Clark and Porter Wagoner. Costume designer Shauna Tripsick died October 4th, 2023, in Palm Desert, California, at the age of 56. She created costumes for the recent Star Wars TV shows The Mandalorian, Ahsoka, and The Book of Boba Fett. Tripsick is also being remembered for her work on such TV shows as Firefly, Angel, and Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. For those of you who are new to our channel, welcome! One thing to keep in mind, sometimes personal information, such as someone's cause of death, is not announced immediately by their family or the authorities. Every family has a right to their privacy. Filmmaker Terence Davies died October 7, 2023, in Mistley, England. He died of cancer at the age of 77. His 1988 film, Distant Voices, Still Lives, was widely awarded and is considered a cinematic masterpiece. Davies is being remembered for exploring the lives of those on the margins of society in films like The Long Day Closes and Benediction. Filmmaker Jeff Burr died October 10, 2023 at his home in Dalton, Georgia. He died of apparent complications from a stroke at the age of 60. He was best known for his horror films, including The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 and Pumpkinhead 2 Blood Wings. Burr is also being remembered for movies like From a Whisper to a Scream, Stepfather 2, and two sequels to Puppet Master. Filmmaker Anthony Hickox died October 9, 2023, in Bucharest, Romania, at the age of 64. He directed Waxwork and its sequel, Waxwork 2, Lost in Time. Hickox is also being remembered for such horror films as Warlock the Armageddon and Hellraiser 3, Hell on Earth. Politician Ted Schwinden died October 7, 2023, in Phoenix. He died in his sleep at the age of 98. As a Democrat, he was a two-term governor of Montana in the 1980s, and he served in the State House of Representatives. He is being remembered as an honest straight shooter who kept his phone number publicly available even while he was governor and responded personally to most letters. Schwinden was a U.S. Army veteran of World War II. Dorothy Hoffner died October 9, 2023, in her sleep at the age of 104. Just a week before her death, she set a world record and went viral as the oldest person ever to tandem skydive. Hoffner is being remembered for her fearless sense of adventure. It was her second time skydiving, and she said it was peaceful, not scary. Veteran Ellsworth Johnson died September 30, 2023, in Zeeland, Michigan, at the age of 100. He served in the U.S. Army during World War II, training as a medic before taking on a more dangerous mission. 
he was assigned to a secret unit parachuting into enemy territory in Europe and the Pacific to assist resistance forces. Johnson is being remembered as the last surviving member of a special operations group that was a precursor to the Green Berets. Basketball player Terry Dishinger died October 10, 2023 in Oregon. He died after fighting Alzheimer's disease at the age of 82. He was a college basketball standout at Purdue and won a gold medal as part of the Hall of Fame Team USA at the 1960 Summer Olympics. He is also being remembered for his NBA career with such teams as the Detroit Pistons and the Portland Trailblazers and for his later career as an orthodontist. Dishinger was a U.S. Army veteran who took a two-year hiatus from basketball to serve. Hughes Van Ellis died October 9, 2023 at a veterans facility in Denver. He died of cancer at the age of 102. He was one of the last three survivors of the 1921 Tulsa Race Massacre. As an infant, he escaped with his family after their home was burned down by a racist mob. He is being remembered for his fight to secure reparations for himself and the massacre's other survivors, which was ongoing at the time of his death. Ellis was a U.S. Army veteran of World War II. Comics artist and writer Keith Giffen died earlier this week in Tampa, Florida. He died of complications from an apparent stroke at the age of 70. He co-created the character Rocket Raccoon, featured in Guardians of the Galaxy, as well as the anti-hero Lobo. Giffen is also being remembered for his work on such comics as Justice League International, Green Arrow, and Superman. Chef Michael Chiarello died October 6, 2023, at a hospital in Napa, California. He died following an acute allergic reaction at the age of 61. He starred on the Food Network's Easy Entertaining with Michael Chiarello and appeared on such TV shows as The Next Iron Chef and Top Chef Masters. Chiarello is also being remembered for his restaurants, including Travigna and Bottega in Napa Valley. Actress Phyllis Coates died October 11, 2023, at the Motion Picture and Television Country House and Hospital in Woodland Hills, California. She died of natural causes at the age of 96. She was the first actress to play Lois Lane on TV, starring in the first season of The Adventures of Superman in the 1950s. Coates is being remembered as the last surviving star of the TV classic. Singer Rudolph Isley died October 11, 2023, at the age of 84. He was a founding member of the Isley Brothers, known for R&B classics like Shout, This Old Heart of Mine, and It's Your Thing. Isley is being remembered for singing lead vocals on such songs as It's a Disco Night, Rock Don't Stop, and You Still Feel the Need. In addition to featuring current deaths in the news, Legacy.com also honors the lives and legacies of notable people who died in the past. Here are some of this week's anniversaries. One year ago this week, actress Angela Lansbury died at the age of 96. She was an icon of classic Hollywood and the Broadway stage, as well as the beloved star of TV's Murder, She Wrote. Nine years ago this week, actress and comedian Jan Hooks died at the age of 57. She was a star of Saturday Night Live in the 1980s, known for sketches like the Sweeney Sisters. Nineteen years ago this week, actor Christopher Reeve died at the age of 52. He became one of the great cinematic superheroes when he played Superman in four movies in the 1970s and 80s. 24 years ago this week, basketball player Wilt Chamberlain died at the age of 63. 
One of the all-time greats of the NBA, he is the only player in NBA history to score 100 points in a game. 26 years ago this week, singer and songwriter John Denver died at the age of 53. His many beloved songs include Take Me Home Country Roads and Rocky Mountain High. 32 years ago this week, comedian and actor Red Fox died at the age of 68. He recorded dozens of comedy albums and starred in the TV sitcom Sanford and Son. 40 years ago this week, actress Joan Hackett died at the age of 49. She was nominated for an Academy Award for her performance in Only When I Laugh. Actor Luke Perry was born 57 years ago this week. He died in 2019 at the age of 52. He was a teen idol in Beverly Hills 90210 and later starred in Riverdale. Singer and songwriter John Lennon was born 83 years ago this week. He died in 1980 at the age of 40. With the Beatles and as a solo artist, he was one of the greatest stars in rock and roll history. Comedian and activist Dick Gregory was born 91 years ago this week. He died in 2017 at the age of 84. Ranked among the top comedians of the 20th century, he spent his career fighting for civil rights. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags in Montana have been lowered to honor the memory of former Governor Ted Schwinden. Flags in Wisconsin have been lowered in observance of Wisconsin Firefighters Memorial Day. Flags in Colorado have been lowered to honor the memory of Christine Guerin Sandoval, a Colorado Springs Community Parole Officer. State flags across America have been lowered in remembrance of lives lost to violence in Israel this week. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. At Legacy.com, any family can publish an obituary in honor of a loved one's memory, online and in local newspapers everywhere. Just visit Legacy.com and select your local community. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths.